Well, switching gears, Central Texas loves its sports. Fox 44's Hannah Hoover tells us why this weekend card enthusiasts came to Waco from all over Texas. This weekend, the Waco Card Show drew in a large crowd of card collectors, sellers, and enthusiasts, making it Waco's largest card show since the 1980s. Our planning of the show has been going on for the past year. Um, you know, the, the goal of the show was to really just be in the center of what I call the collector trifecta of Texas. Uh, you got Houston, Dallas, and Austin, which are three of the biggest collector markets in the U.S. Card enthusiasts from Kansas City, Oklahoma City, and even New Jersey also made the trip to Waco this weekend. We're going to keep doing it and uh, keep expanding and keep trying to make this a great show for Waco and the surrounding areas. The Waco Card Show doesn't stop at sports cards. They also showcase old money, old toys, memorabilia, and Pokemon. Family-owned and local collector's card shop, Bankston's, has been around for 38 years. This gives us something tangible that we see our heroes that play the sport. If it may be college or pro or even high school, and we enjoy that, we want to be participating in that. So you get to see attraction, that, again, of, of their success. Many parents brought their children to the event to foster a legacy of collecting. I actually started collecting as a kid. I did not collect cards. I collected NASCAR memorabilia and uh, mainly did a lot of autographs and stuff. But, you know, as a kid, I remember those are some of the best memories of my life. You know, meeting Richard Petty, Kyle Petty, you know, Greg Biffle, all those big guys that I loved as a kid who plan on getting signers for our next show. The event hopes to establish a hub for passionate collectors to discover, trade, and showcase sports cards and collectibles. With such an impressive turnout, the Waco Card Show hopes to make this a monthly event for families to enjoy and to continue the tradition of card collecting. In Waco, Hannah Hoover, Fox 44 News.